God! Whoever came up with the idea of this weapon deserves a fucking Rakata. cookie. But anyway, hello everyone, welcome to another Warframe video, and today we're gonna take a quick look at Piranha Prime, our newest secondary shotgun that was just introduced with Limbo Prime. So first things first, if you want to get your hands on this puppy, you can get the blueprint as a rare drop from the Lith P1 relic, the barrel as a common drop from the Neo V7 relic, and the receiver as an uncommon drop from the Axie K3 relic, so it's actually not too bad. The Piranha Prime is a fully automatic secondary shotgun that requires you to be at least mastery rank 13 to use it and it does 240 damage per shot. 201.6 is slash and 19.2 is both puncture and impact. It fires up to 4 rounds per second with 12 rounds in the magazine, 210 rounds in total and a reload time of 1.6 seconds. It has a very solid 24% crit chance and above average 2.2 times crit multiplier and a fairly low 12% status chance. It also comes with two V-polarities as standard, which is always nice for a secondary weapon. But as you saw in the beginning, that's not all, because the weapon also comes with a very cool unique mechanic, where if you manage to get three kills in a rapid succession, it will simply materialize another piranha in your offhand and turn into Ak Piranha Prime for a short period of time. And the best thing about this is that all the questions you might have about certain issues that may arise when you do something like this have been solved in the best way possible. It's just so good, the only downside I can think of is that it starts to kick and shake your screen quite a bit when you go full auto with both of them. So what it does is it doubles your fire rate and magazine without actually affecting the reload time and it immediately loads in those 12 extra rounds that you get with the second piranha. Which is pretty awesome on its own, but it's even better than that because those 12 extra rounds don't actually come from your ammo reserve which kind of helps with the ammo economy because otherwise you would just blow through your ammo way too fast. And when you have 12 or fewer rounds loaded into the Ak Piranha, when the second Piranha disappears you won't actually lose anything, you will only lose ammo if you have more than 12 rounds. The whole mechanic is just really really good. Now, if I didn't have a ribbon for the weapon, which I do, I would go for a simple 4 former build where you add 3 Vs and a dash. And I would go for a pretty straightforward crit build where I would run Hornet Strike for damage, Barrel Diffusion for multi-shot, Lethal Torrent for fire rate and multi-shot, then Prime Pistol Gambit for crit chance, Prime Target Cracker for crit damage or, you know, the standard version of these. And then you can either go for Ogre Pact if you want even more damage or you can slap in another 90% elemental. Or you can go for Steady Hands, which is a valid option as well if you're really bothered by the excessive screen shake of the Ak Piranha. And I decided to top it all off with Viral Damage, so I went with Deep Freeze and Pathogen Rounds, because even though you do have 30% status, this is a shotgun, so the status is pretty unreliable, and you only need to proc Viral once and get the full effect of it for 8 seconds. But that was not my actual build. This is my actual build, where I've added another V for the Riven, which is Piranha Satikron, which adds about 150% extra multi-shot and 180% extra crit chance. It is pretty yummy. Now, unsurprisingly, the damage this weapon can pump out with the Riven is just disgusting. Even if you're fighting some beefier enemies, like in the Simulacrum, when you're probably actually not gonna get the three kills you need to summon the second one, the damage is still just mental. But when you do actually get the kills and you get the Ak Piranha going, oh my, this is just, <laughs> this is just ridiculous. And it really doesn't matter what kind of faction or enemy you're fighting, everything just melts. I mean, <laughs> look at this thing. And it's not just the Riven, right? Even if I switch to the other setup where I don't have a Riven, you can see that the weapon still does an absolutely insane amount of damage. I even went out into the plains and tested it versus the Terrorless because I had a feeling this weapon was gonna be pretty good. So here's the performance without any outside damage buffs. It takes about two magazines and boom, joint is gone. But I also wanted to try it with a damage buff, so I jumped onto my raw rhino that I used to hunt the Terrorless and... Yeah, um, it's pretty good. And now we come to the conclusion, and I have no idea what I'm supposed to say about this weapon, just go and get it. There is no reason not to get this weapon, this weapon is crazy. 
And it's not just that the weapon does a lot of damage, you know, it's a lot of fun to use as well. This weapon is just dumb. It's kind of like when you pick up a weapon and you go, okay, I'm gonna use a dumb build, I'm gonna go for max fire aid, hell yeah. That's what this weapon is, but you're running an actual build and doing a disgusting amount of damage with it. So honestly, the only thing I can say is if you have the mastery rank, go and farm it up and have a ton of fun with it, and if you don't have the mastery rank, farm it up in advance, because I have a feeling this weapon will age very well. And that's pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching, as always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time, bye bye.